here with our interview for the day with our special guest. I don't really even know how to address. Um, I guess that's part of the mystery, really. My baby-to-be, our embryonic guest, as it were. And, of course, there's always a dozen questions one might want to ask of um, a baby, potentially before it's born. All that potential there waiting. So, we'll start with the obvious question everybody wants to know. Are you a boy or a girl? <laughs> I'm not allowed to tell you yet. Sorry. Not even any hints? I mean, come on. Well, you can check out a few pictures from the ultrasound, but otherwise, uh, yeah. I'm not gonna, not gonna lay it out there for you. Alright, so I, I guess then the uh, entire issue of names is somewhat up in the air as well. Oh, I'm good with androgynous names. So, androgynous. Uh, could you give us an example of an androgynous name that you might be partial to? Gio or Ella? Not particularly androgynous, but yeah. some of the clothes that we were having picked through the other day are very androgynous. Ella or Gio? Okay, well, excellent. Not quite, I, I don't know uh, about androgynous. Certainly, they're both very hip names these days. Um, so, have you got any, uh, any expectations on a date when you might be coming to see the world? I imagine things are getting pretty close now. Uh, pretty tight, actually. They're getting pretty tight. Yes, indeed. Tight? Tight how? Yeah, there's not a, quite enough room in here. So, how Those are you... Those ribs get in the way. How are you dealing with these cramped quarters? Oh, my goodness. The living conditions of babies these days are just horrific. So, yes, I'm ready to come out, and let's see, when shall we do it? I would like to do it in the middle of the day sometime, when my dad's at work and he has to rush home. I'm sure he can't wait for that unique opportunity. Um, besides that, are there any things you're looking forward to when um, you come into this bright, bold world? Any expectations you may have? A warm bath right from the get-go. Maybe even born in water. Ooh, how nice. So, warm. That brings up an interesting subject. I mean, really, in the womb, I imagine it's rather warm. What, what would be warm by comparison? Are we talking warmer or roughly the same temperature? Oh, the same is fine. Yes, I'm awfully comfy here, but the breezes you folks have outside of this womb is, I uh, hear, rather... Hmm. Going into the negatives. Ah, yeah. These Wisconsin days right now, certainly. Um, the weather would be very different. I think uh, right now we're dealing with over a hundred degree difference from your current uh, conditions versus what we've got outside ah! right now. Never mind. I'm not coming out. Well, uh, don't let that few, uh, fool you there. I'm sure the weather will be getting nicer anytime <laughs> soon. July around then. Are we so, going to move to a tropic area first? Then uh, I'll you, come out. You know, it's funny you should mention that. Before we moved here, I actually uh, suggested to um, your mother that we move to Hawaii, and she said that idea was right out. Bizarre. Well, I guess mother does know best. I'll have to ask her later why. Yeah, that you'll have to let me know when you figure that one out. Um, so, are there any... Um, how do you feel about the family? I mean, you, you've got some siblings, so you're going to be the youngest. What? Any thoughts there? Well, I hear from my baby cousin, who was just born not too long ago, that uh, um, sisters or siblings like to touch my face a lot when I'm sleeping. And beware of being um, quite shocked several times by a big hug that might knock me over. Really? Now that sounds a little traumatic. Are you, are you okay with this? Just as long as I get to nurse afterwards. I I do hear that nursing is a a, a pretty soothing uh, experience there. It's been quite some time myself. I wouldn't really remember it. 
So I, in closing, I guess we're, we're running a little on time here. Are there any final things you'd like to share from the womb with the world? I'm glad there's not a mirror in here. That way I can pick my nose whenever I want. And no one would know it. Yeah, well, it's fabulous. Those are some words of advice from the inside there. And uh, join us next time when we interview an aged man from beyond the grave. Thank you.